Besides Matt and Tala at the start of last month, Bowles held a four-point lead on the hoops at the top of the table. How quickly things can change in football. Now Shamrock Rovers visit Dillyman Park with a six-point buffer on the pack, with Bowles now trailing the great rivals by eight points, albeit Bowles have played a game less. Akintunde drifting into a central position, and that's a really good out ball to pick out Grant Horton. Coop down the line, early ball in, Adam McDonald arriving, oh, right across the face of goal. In the 10th minute, early chance for Bohemians, Adam McDonald with back three league goals, almost a fourth there. Yeah, and it all came from that really, really clever switch of play, out to Horton, who's completely free, gets a great ball in, and what a chance. Well, that's got the crowd going at Dennyman Park. That's his boom. Lopez forward. And a volley clear. Lee Grace just instructing uh, Leon Pauls to make the angle to receive. And now boom with lots of time to turn and take a touch. There's Dylan Watts. Oh, he's popped up possession. Now, can Afalabi make the most of the opportunity? Almost. But it's a splendid save by Leon Pauls to keep it at nil-nil, really careless from Shamrock Rovers there. Yeah, again, a sloppy ball out, and Dylan Watts is on the back foot, he's got his face in his own goal in possession. The ball gets nicked off him, and Afal Abbey hits it with his left foot, tries to stroke it into the bottom corner. Oh, that's untidy from Keith Buckley. Jack Byrne suggesting to Neil Doyle he should have had a free kick. Ali Coote bombs on. Afalabi through the middle, on the turn, Afalabi with a shot, and strong appeal for handball. Neil Doyle is unmoved, it will be a corner kick though for Bohemians. Well, it was a really, really good move, a great drive forward from... Ali Coot, a clever little ball in, and again, it's that movement, isn't it, from Afalabi, and it's, it's hard to see from the replays if, he do, if it does hit his hand, but it, you know, it's, it's quite possible it clips the, the, his elbow, with his, but his arm is tucked in. Corner swung in, and it's pawed away brilliantly by Poles. Not too sure how much he knew about it, both beginning to press once again. Shamrock Rovers being pegged back at the moment. Horton, and swept in by Keith Buckley. Ball breaks on the edge of the area, and it's a volley downfield by Dylan Watts. Ready, you could see in the f in those little passing moves from Shamrock Rovers, dragging Flores down, and Dylan Watts making the run forward, but he was tracked by Adam McDonald. So Bows really know, and they're expecting that, and you know it's just a, that concentration to be able to keep doing that. Kavanaugh with the ball, looking for a knockdown here. Might work out for Rory Gaffney. He's been forced wide. He's got Grant Horton for company. Feeds it back, set it by Kavner, and a glancing header finds the back of the net. Two minutes gone in the second half, and Shamrock Rovers celebrate. Delightful goal, swept in, and Shamrock Rovers edged in front here at Denimon Park with a real quality goal. It was, and it was a great one from Neil Ferruja, the way he comes in from the wide position, times it perfectly. Rory Gaffney did very well, worked hard, to get the ball back and then you see here he just works hard he has a little look takes another touch lays it back cross comes in from Sean Cavanagh and that's a brilliant brilliant header from Neil Ferruja well Neil Ferruja opened the scoring in this derby match in the first one of the campaign in 2023 and he's applied a vital touch here super ball in and a deft header and Shamrock Rovers lead the derby it's Bohemians nil Shamrock Rovers won and you can see there, it all starts from Neil Ferruja winning the ball back, and he's deep, he's locked in back in alongside the three centre-backs, and he does his defensive work, he gets back into possession, wins the ball, and then he drives forward. He's such a good outlet, outlet for Shamrock Rovers. Wins the, like we said in the first half, when the space in front of me wants to drive into it, and he draws the foul and the yellow card. So Shamrock Rovers uh, looking to add a second goal here really take a grip on this Dublin derby. Jack Byrne over the dead ball. Nine of players wait on the delivery on the edge of the area. Byrne, hurling ball in. Lopez tried to get something on it. And pull with the shot. Oh, what a goal. They have doubled their advantage. 
What a cracking goal from the Estonian. Marcus Toom, boom. It's his first league goal for Shamrock Rovers, and it is an absolute belter. Well, if you're going to score your first one, that's absolutely the way to do it. He caught it so, so sweetly, perfectly positioned on the edge of the box. Oh, what a quality strike. Talbot at full stretch. Couldn't keep it out. Again, it's a great ball in from Jack Byrne, and Pico Lopez does enough, like he does, he can't win the first ball, but he keeps it alive. He uses his body to protect it and make sure it goes back to another Shamrock Rovers player. Like I say, Marcus Poon perfectly positioned, and what a, just drops sweetly for him on his left foot, and what a strike that is to attack that space, getting their midfielders forward. Here's Dylan Connolly on a weaving run, takes out Ali Coos. Back to Connolly, Kirk. Forward by Flores. Clark and Afolabi. Afolabi! Oh, yeah! That's a quality goal, too! Johnny Afolabi with a really smart and tidy finish. A ball's back in the match. Bohemians won. Shamrock Rovers, two. This game is not done just yet. Well, it's not, and that's exactly what Bohemians needed again. You just see the little bit of space that Afalabi gets himself into. He's up tight first. Pico Lopez is in front of him. He gets that little bit of space he wants. This time he doesn't have to navigate the defender before he gets the shot away. And it's a brilliant, brilliant strike. Johnny Afalabi has bowls back in the contest. Off the woodwork and into the back of the net. And what a lively second half. Shamrock Rovers, the defending league champions, going for four in a row. Still leads. The Bohemians have given them food for thought now. Kavna checks away from Dylan Connolly. Coos. There's Flores. Kirk. Nali Coos once again. Afalabi on the edge of the area at the moment. Paddy Kirk did really well to retain possession. It's away from Neil Ferrugia. So Paddy Kirk and Kirk run here. Opportunity for Clark. And that's a good save. From Leon Coles down to his left-hand side, James Clark, almost providing Bohemians with an equalising goal. Yeah, and he's been lively since this. Come on, like sometimes a game like this can be hard, especially at this tempo. But he's come straight in, got his foot into the game, and he's. You know, getting into space and he's bringing that energy that Bohemians have absolutely needed. Uh, James Clark who joined Bohemians from Drogheda United last summer. Leon Tolls again just slowing it down. Afalabi is there. And eventually the clearance is completed by the Shamrock Rovers goalkeeper. Here's Lopez to Tao. Prods it in the direction of Cleary. Did him no favours whatsoever there. Here's Afalabi with the ball into the middle for Dylan Connolly. And Clark, he ties it up. Denied moments ago, but James Clark has come to the rescue for Bohemians. And the Bulls fans have gone absolutely bananas. It's 2 2. They looked dead and buried at 2 0 down early in the second half. But James Clark ties it up. Bohemians 2, Shamrock Rovers 2. Well, it comes from a turnover in possession and a little bit of bravery and the early ball in from Afalabi. He has a look, sees it. He's just so calm and composed. He doesn't, he doesn't lash it, he doesn't try and get powered. He just places it, picks his spot and side foots it into the net. It's a fantastic finish, so composed. Shifts it from his left foot onto his right foot. Picks his spot. Falabi leading over to Dylan Connolly and Connolly driving through. Connolly with the shot. What a save. Leon Poles take a bow. Brilliant from the Shamrock Rovers goalkeeper. Well, they were looking for perhaps the winning goal, but he may have managed to get them a point here. That is top drawer from Poles. 
huge, huge save and an absolutely brilliant turn from Afalabi to release Dylan Connolly. Exactly what he just said to him moments earlier when the header, make that run, expect me to win it, I'm going to put you in. And he did, and what a save that was. A great strike and a brilliant save. So Jack Byrne with a bit of an outswinger towards the back post. Well defended by both, but uh, they haven't got it fully clear just yet. Byrne perhaps to send it back in. Still Jack Byrne as the hoops seek what would be a winning goal, but not to be. It's all square. Another, yet another very dramatic Dublin derby. Well, it ends all square between Bohemians and Shamrock Rovers. Stephen Bradley side off to a flyer of a start in the second half. The goals from Neil Ferrugia and an absolute beauty from Marcus Poom. A credit to Bowles. They looked at in deep, deep trouble at that stage, but they fought back to draw. Thanks to goals from the player of the match, Jonathan Apalabi, and James Clark off the bench to poach home the equalising goal 2 2. Yeah, I think both certainly deserved something out of the game. I think, you know, they created the best chances in the first half. Rovers much, much more like themselves in the second half, create. And like a 2 0 up, you did, just didn't see a way back for Bohemians at that point. But what they did show was consistently with the first half was that the few chances they did create, they got something out of it. And I think on the night, a two all draw is probably the fair result. Great stuff. It has finished in the derby. Bohemians 2, Shamrock Rovers 2.